So, uh, hi everybody. Thanks for coming. This is a uh, this this is a benefit for the Gunga Prem Cancer Hospice in Rishikesh. It was started by uh, an English woman who's lived in India her whole life, and uh, well, not her whole life. Otherwise, she wouldn't be English, right? So. She had a really great guru up, way up in the Himalayas named Mastaram Baba. He was really one, beautiful. And um, when he left the body, she just stayed up there in the mountains. And then, uh, how many years ago was it? There were those big floods. And, uh, and so her, they had a little ashram right on the banks of the Ganga and was washed away. She, she escaped with her laptop and a Ramayana. And that was it. So she moved down towards Dehradun area, which, and uh, as time went on, she had the idea to do this, and uh, we've been doing benefits for her for a long for the cancer hospice for a long time. And um, yeah, usually we we do it in Rishikesh, but Rishikesh is far away, <laughs> and we're here. Oakland's not so different from Rishikesh, actually. <laughs> And uh, we're here, and band camp is just out of the blue. I don't even know how it happened. We, somebody offered somebody something, and we're here. So this is very nice. And of course, the, mostly the usual suspects are up here. <laughs> this one is very suspect. <laughs> Genevieve, Genevieve. And, of course, this gentleman is beyond suspicion of all of them. Steve Oda. Wonderful. He and Ty, this is Ty Burho. He and Ty tour a lot and with uh, real music, you know, not, you know. Indian classical music, you know. Big time stuff. And then Mark Gorman, right there. All the way from Los Angeles. And behind me, our special, our secret weapon, actually, tonight, David Estes. What, do you pay these people? What are you doing here? And uh, yeah, David plays great bhajan stuff on his, on the dolak. So he's going to, we're going to do that tonight. And that's the deal. I have no idea what's going to happen tonight. I don't know what we're singing. I don't know anything. So it's going to be informal. We're not going to just like sit down and sing for an hour and a half. I thought to try to record some of the stuff that doesn't get, hasn't been recorded too often and doesn't get played that much, or stuff I just wanted to do. So there's no logic to it. Don't worry. Sing 
Yunurjavan Krishan Kyani Nama Graganyam Sakalaguna Nedhan Vanarana Madhisham Ragupati Priya Bhaktam Atajatam Nama Koshpani Kratavarisham Mashiki Kutarakshasam Ramayana Mahamala Ratnam Ande Nilatnajam Anjana Nandanam Deer Janiki Shokanashana Kapisa Makshahanta Ande Lanka Bhankaram Yelangya Sindho Salilam Salilam Yashoka Vahi Chanakatma Jaya Adayatane Dadahalanka Amanitam Pranjali Ranjaniyam Anojavam Marat Tulya Vegam Jitendriyam Budhimatam Varishtam Vatatmajam Vanarita Mukham Shri Ramadutam Sharanam Prapadhe Shri Ramadutam Sharanam Prapadhe Shri Ramadutam Sharanam Prapadhe Anjane Amati Patalana Kanchanadri Kamani Avigraham Padijata Tarumula Vasana Bhavayami Bhavamana Nandana Yatra Yatra Raghunath Kirtana Tatra Tatra Kritamasta Kanjali Vashpavari Paripurna Lochana Martinamat Rakshasantakam Lobajaranga Balehanoman Kirti Yeah. 
Krishna Hare, Jai Jai Ram Krishna Hare, Jai Jai Ram Krishna Hare, Jai Jai Ram Krishna Hare,
So this is a mantra to the goddess, Om Shri Matre Nama. It's all forms of the goddess. And I don't know if you know that those, there are some extra words in there. Let me show you this. Jambe Gauri, which is Amba's mother. Gauri is the white blonde golden goddess, and then J Shama Gauri. Shama is dark, like a, like a thundercloud that's just about to burst with rain, dark, bluish black, Krishna color, also 
Kali Kali. Shama Gauri Gauri. Okay, so whatever. <laughs>
some years ago, Ty and I, uh, well, there was a great Sarangi player named Sultan Khan. Uh, he was an extraordinary musician, incredible guy. He had a nickname for me, Mr. God. <laughs> <laughs> so he was coming to New York, so Ty and I decided to try to get him in the studio, make a CD with him, for him. So the first day he comes in the studio, we had two days in the studio. First day he comes in, and he plays two, records two songs. And then he says, now I'm going. And then he left. <laughs> And we had about, you know, 10 minutes of music after the first day. We go, oh, well, we got one more day. So the second day he comes in the studio and he goes, Mr. God, now you sing. And I said, Kansa, I don't sing in a room that you walked through three weeks ago. And he said, if you don't sing, then I don't play. So this, I sang this. And he, all I could say, he never heard anything like this. It's on, uh, what's the name of that CD? Uh, the, Drop the, the Drop of the Ocean, yeah. If you, you don't have to buy it, you can rip it. <laughs> but listen to it. <laughs> it's one of the most beautiful things. He, he sings along with me. I, it was embarrassing for me, but he just insisted. So. Uh, and he plays the sarangi along with it. It's just one of the most beautiful things you'll ever hear. So, and that Jayambe uh, Gauri, Jayashama Gauri, this is one of the things Mr. Tawari, my Indian father, used to chant all the time, part of his puja. Of course, he would go into samadhi while he was chanting. <laughs> <laughs> and I would sit there waiting for him to come back. It doesn't work for me that way. I don't know why. <laughs> Calling out to hungry hearts Everywhere through endless time You who wander you who thirst, I offer you this body mind, calling out to hungry spirits everywhere through endless time, calling out to hungry hearts all the lost and the left behind. Gather round and share this meal Your joy and your sorrow I make it mine Shri Guru Charana Saroja Raja Nijamana Mukur Sudhari Parana Raghubara Bimala Jasu Chodaku Palachara Buddhihin Tanujan Ke Sumiram Bhavan Kumar Siaram Bala Buddhi Vidya Dehu Mohin Haru Kales Bikar Siavara Ramachandra Padjesharana Jaya Hanuman Gyana Guna Sang Jaya Kapi Sati Hun Loka Ujjag Rama Dutta Tulta Baladama Anjani Puta Vanna Sutta Nama Mahavira Bikram Bajarangi Kumat Nivar Sumati Kesangi Shana Varana Virada Subesa Kanana Kundala Kunchita Kesa Hatu Pajuro Dvacha Virada Kande Munja Janeu Sadhya Shankara Suvana Kesari Nandante 
Sakti Garisa Tulsi Das Sada Hari Chera Ki Jenata Hurdaya Mandir Palanatanaya Sankata Harana Nangala Murti Rup Siyara Ramala Kanda Sita Sarita Hurdaya Basar Surabu The last line of that prayer is from the Japanese Buddhist uh, stuff. <laughs> but it says, it actually says, all of your sorrow, I make it mine. But Bernie wasn't buying it. He wants your joy too. That's why he made me change it. He said, no, 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 I want your joy too. You got to change that. All right. So, you know, the thing about a bodhisattva, which is a great being who takes a vow not to pass out of form and to always remain available to alleviate suffering as long as there's even one person left, one being left in the universe that feels its suffering. The bodhisattva will take a vow that he will not or she will not just say, ah, fuck it, I'm going out. <laughs> no, they stay here. And the thing is, we tend to think, oh, good, all that suffering, it's so terrible, it's so horrible, it's so depressing. But the thing about a great being is that their hearts are as wide as the world. And they... There's space in there for everything, not just the sorrow of others, but the joy too. So that's an important thing to remember. 
especially these days, because there's so much suffering, it's easy to forget that there's also a lot of joy around. This may not be so easy to find, but... I first heard this chant in a little car uh, being driven back to the temple in Rishikesh by a friend of mine. He had a little cassette and he put it on. I, I was, I can't, I still can't. It was so amazing. It's this guy, um, Vinod Agarwal was his name. He just died recently. And he's a, a like a millionaire businessman. And he just decided, he gave his business to let it be run by some other people. And he took off with this bhajan group, with this kirtan group. And he just traveled around India giving free concerts, free, free programs. And there's a word for his kind of chanting in Hindi. It's called musti. Ne? Sachi baat hai? It means intoxicated. Just completely zoned out. It's unbelievable. This guy, I can't tell you. It's incredible. So we're going to do our best to fake it. And uh, we're just going to be musty, like dusty. Yeah. <laughs> There are the Govind, the Govind, the Radhe. There are the Govind, the Govind, the Radhe.
So uh, there's this song that I heard in the 80s. Remember those? It was from a. It was the. It was the theme for a, a movie called Across the Borderline. Great movie. Uh, it, a lot of great actors and actresses were in it. It was amazing. But I heard the song, and in the 80s, there was no internet. There was no, um, it, it was really hard to find stuff. But somehow, I found it. And it turned out it was written by Rye Cooter. And it's an incredible song. And I'm going to try to sing it. I can do it in sound check when nobody's listening, but except us. We'll see what happens today. The words are really powerful. And in this time of heavy changes and many people passing through this world, I think it's a very fitting song. English may be my first spoken language, but it ain't my first singing language. There's a land, so I've been told. Every street is lined with gold And it's just across the borderline And when it's time to take your turn There's a lesson you must learn You could lose more than you ever hoped to find When you reach the broken promised land And every dream slips from your hand 
And you know it's too late to change your mind You pay the price to come so far Just to wind up where you are And you're still just across Footprints in the sand reveal the secret no one can define. The river flows on like a breath in between our life and death. Tell me who's next to cross a borderline. And when you reach the broken promised land And every dream slips from your hand And you know it's too late to change your mind You pay the price to come so far Just to wind up where you are Still just across the borderline
Almost, but not quite. <laughs> so, for the last uh, thing we're going to do. Um, somebody once asked me on one of, you know, we did 115 Thursday nights in a row. Except for one I missed, I think. One of those Thursday nights, somebody asked a question. said, is there any prayer for, like, peace in uh, the Indian tradition? I said, I don't think so. <laughs> so somebody wrote to me and told me that there is some. <laughs> and that, that's the Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu. Loka's world. Don't tell them if I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> Samasta means to remain, to be, to exist as uh, Sukhino, happiness, Bhavantu, all of us sentient beings. Or something like that. Well, anyway, it's good. <laughs> All right, so we'll sing it for you know a few minutes together, please. <clears throat> and the thing about these kind of prayers is they're also what's called aspirations. I mean, this is we want to make this offering of our hopes for the world that we live in. First of all, if everybody was happy, nobody be hurting anybody else. You know, there's this Buddhist meditation called loving kindness meditation. And you, you, there's these four phrases that you repeat, not uh, mechanically, but you're supposed to try to connect to the phrases, right? And first one is, may I be safe, may I be happy, may I be healthy, and may I live with ease, at, at peace or with ease. And so you do that for about two days until you're ready to commit suicide because you can't, you, there's no way you can wish yourself well. It's just not happening, especially if you're in Long Island. <laughs> so, uh, but then they say, okay, now you, you think of someone who's like always been there for you, you know, you're a grandparent or a teacher, most likely not your partner, someone who's always been on your side. And you start offering the phrases to them. And you know, it's like, whoa, you get happy. And you, may you be safe. Oh, yeah, sure, of course, may you be safe. And then after like a half a day of that, they say, now return to yourself. <laughs> and then the reason I thought there's the difficult person, they call it, or actually in the sutras, it's called the enemy. And you have to offer these phrases to this person, right? Well, you know, when we read the news these days, there are a lot of those people out there. So, But the best I could do at the time was, may you be safe, you miserable shit, so you leave me alone. May you be happy. <laughs> yeah, you know, like this. Oh, but a funny thing happens. So the next guy, you give after a while, you just give up. And, and then they, they say the next thing is the neutral person. This is somebody... You know, you see around, but you don't know anything about them. In my case, it was the clerk at the video store. So, 80s video, so you used to rent them and bring them home. <laughs> and then forget to return them. So, uh, so it was the guy at the video store who I see, you know, when I get a video, and I, I don't know anything. So there he was, I was offering him these phrases, and, you know, I didn't feel anything. Just, okay, yeah, may you be safe, that's good, yeah. Then the retreat was over, and I went home. And next day, I uh, went out to get some coffee. And I thought, oh, yeah. I went to the video store, and I walked into the store. And this guy was standing behind the counter. The minute I saw him, I, exp I, I fell apart. I started weeping uncontrollably. I couldn't, st I, I couldn't stand it. I don't know what happened. I had to go hide in the porn section then, <laughs> in the back. Which is a door, you know, with a lock, you know. I, my heart exploded when I saw this guy. I, to this day, when I think about him, I get weepy. It's crazy. But there it is. So if we could transform through our hope and our aspiration all the negativity in the universe, wouldn't that be good? However, 
one has to start with oneself, and that could take about 400 lifetimes. But we do the best we can. So this prayer is about that. I can't stop thinking about that guy now. <laughs> I wonder where he is so long ago. He could be sick. He might need help. Ok. 
So, thanks so much for coming and uh, look up uh, the Ganga Prem Hospice. Look it up. You know, up in the mountains, there's, there's no doctors, there's nothing up there. People get sick, they die. So, it's, they're doing most of the work is volunteer work there. But they've actually built a hospital now. But uh, it was. I think it was pretty much closed down the last couple of years, but they're still trying to help people as much as they can. The, uh, my friend's name is Nani Ma. She's really something. A little fireball. She's extraordinary. She gets things done. You wouldn't believe it. It's amazing. When I sang there uh, two times ago, it's probably about four and a half, five years ago, it was a young girl who was 16, I think, maybe 15. She was uh, very close to death. And her dream was uh, to sing with me. So they brought her in a stretcher. and She was there on the side of the stage. and. can't solve everything, but each of us have a world that we live in, and in that world there's a lot we can do. So, once again, thank you so much, and uh, can I go home now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Back to New York. <laughs> Please? Boy, I don't know. I haven't sang so much without my pajamas on for years. So. <laughs>